Right as I came upon the creek, I was startled by something to my left. I heard a sound, kind of like small branches and leaves being stepped on, and at the same time, I smelled an odor. I looked to my left, and I was frozen by what I saw. Harper Katz of Bowie County, Texas, in October of 1984. Harper Katz was walking down a dirt road near dusk. It had rained that day, and it was an overcast sky. There was a misty fog, but not a heavy fog. It was a quiet day, and she was looking around as she was walking. She went around a curve where there were several horses grazing in a pasture. As she came around the curve, she began to walk down a straightaway where the road crossed over a small creek. Right as she came upon the creek, she was startled by something to her left. She heard a sound of small branches and leaves being stepped on, and at the same time, she smelled something that was unfamiliar to her. Hopper looked to her left and was frozen when she saw a figure standing right at the edge of the creek. It was looking back at her for a moment. It seemed they were both frozen. Hopper has never been as scared as she was in that moment. She remembers it being very tall, around seven feet high, and its entire body was covered with black hair. Its arms were long, and Harper could see it breathing. It was completely still as it breathed in and out. And that is what frightened Harper, because she knew that it was real and not a hallucination. Harper ran fast as she could back home, and she never looked back to see if it was following her. Cody Dalton, a Bigfoot investigator from the Wood Paper Conservancy, interviewed Harper Katz along with her husband James about this encounter near Anderson Creek in Bowie County, Texas. 